A video allegedly showing migrants blocking a road near the channel crossing between France and Britain has gone viral on Twitter after a British far-right political figure posted it on his account. Posted by uh, Paul Golding, the leader of the far-right Britain First Group, uh, the clip has already gotten more than 500,000 views on Twitter. Uh, he falsely claims that it shows illegal migrants in Calais throwing rocks to stop the trucks so they can jump on board and sneak into Britain. Take a look. Every year, thousands of asylum seekers attempt to cross the channel to reach the UK. Just last year, nearly 46,000 of them attempted to do so uh, by crossing using small boats. A dangerous and even deadly journey for those who attempted. And the French town of Calais, as well as the channel crossing, have become a symbol of the refugee crisis in Europe. A crisis that's also often been exploited by political figures, and in this particular case, Britain's far right. The Cube conducted a reverse image search and we found the original clip on Twitter. As you can see, it dates back to July 2019 and it was posted by an Israeli news outlet. The translated caption of the video reads, the protest of the Ethiopian community, demonstrators throw stones at the Gedera interchange. Gedera is a city located in central Israel and we managed to geolocate uh, where this protest happened. So right here at this interchange, as you can see on Google Earth. Now, some background on these protests. In 2019, uh, thousands of people took to the streets of several cities in Israel after a 19-year-old Israeli of Ethiopian origin was killed by an off-duty police officer. The man's death brought up accusations of racism as well as police brutality in the country. Tens of thousands of Ethiopian Jews uh, were brought to Israel in the 1980s as well as in the 1990s. And this exact Twitter video that you saw earlier uh, was also used in a similar disinformation campaign against migrants, but this time in 2019 and by the French far right. The city of Calais even had to launch legal proceedings in an attempt to sue uh, the account that originally posted the misleading video and caption back in 2019.